back with another Climbing Daily Factory Tour, showing you how the climbing gear that you use goes from its very beginnings all the way through to what you use at your local wall or crag. On this episode, we're taking you all the way into the depths of the Italian Alps, to a company that still operates from the same place it began more than a hundred years ago. Founded in 1889, Camp is one of the oldest leading climbing manufacturing brands in the world. These days, they are known globally for their alpine and rock climbing equipment, sponsoring some of the biggest climbers on the planet. But the origin story of this brand is inextricably linked to the mountains, and in an age where corporations own many of the large outdoor companies, Camp not only remains in the family that first founded the company, it has also stayed in the place where the story began, back in 1889. Camp is a family-owned business since fourth generation, started, continuing and still staying in Premana. Premana is a small village in the Alps. It's placed 1,000 meters above the sea level. It's a place where you don't pass, but you have to go. Camp's connection to this village, buried deep in the Italian Alps, gives this factory a unique and special feel. Everywhere you look, there are links to the history of this unique company. My name is Antonio Codega. I'm the R&D manager at Camp. I'm uh, one of the fourth generation uh, owner of the company. My grand-grandfather started in 1889. My grandfather produced the, the very first ice axis in uh, 1920, and then in the uh, 60s, the third generation came, and uh, we are now at the fourth. So, there you go, some history about camp. As you can imagine, as we made our way through Permana, we were very excited about doing this factory tour. So without further ado, let's get on with it. We made it into the headquarters of camp here in Fermana, Italy, and I'm meeting with Marco, who's gonna show me around. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Teresa. Hi. Good morning. Welcome to Fermana. Welcome to camp. Thank you so much for having me. So what's your role here at camp? I am uh, the international sales manager for the outdoor division. And today I will show you around a little bit uh, what we do in camp. So you guys make a lot of products, all from harnesses, helmets, ice axes. Can we see a design more in detail? Here in Premana, we manufacture ice axes and crampons, and we can have a look uh, what the guys are doing. So for example, here, we are designing and working on the concept of a new ice tool, a new mm -hmm. ice axe for mountaineering and ski mountaineering. We first design a 3D model and we have the ability, thanks to our prototyping facility, to have a first physical idea of what the product, in this case an ice axe, will be. First with the plastic prototyping and then the aluminium and steel with the right materials. So at the end, uh, uh, we are able to prototype and then test uh, all the products that we design here. So here, this is our prototyping laboratory for soft goods. For instance, harnesses, chill bags, crush pads, backpacks, everything which is made with nylon, polyamide and those kind of fabrics. How much is there back and forth between making new prototypes, adjusting them and trying them out? It depends very much from product to product, from the technology of the product and also how much innovative is the product. You often and always need to make tests on fields mm -hmm. and for instance speaking about ice axes, so we need snow, we need ice, we need to be in the right environment mm -hmm. and in this case it might take uh, two years, three years. This is a 3D printer and you're printing out an ice axe. So here we make prototypes of an ice axe head and in this case it's second prototype because the first prototype we have seen before it was not really what we wanted for this kind of ice axe and in this case we are printing a second prototype. But it's in plastic and we're in a test center but I guess you cannot really test out the plastic bit. So what's the step after this print? 
Exactly, so we need uh, steel or aluminium, depending on which is the final material of the ice axe, to be tested in the laboratory. We have to go out and I have to show you how we make the laser cutting for aluminium and steel. So this is where things get interesting with camp, because not all the manufacturing of their gear takes place in-house. They use the same local manufacturers they've been using for the four generations that camp has existed in Premana to produce and manufacture camp products. And in this case, we're heading to the valley floor below Premana to Taglio Laser in order to see how ice axe heads are cut out. So Teresa, uh, here uh, we came down to this workshop where we do the laser cutting. And what's that exactly? So we start from a sheet of uh, steel or aluminium and we put it to the machine that we are going to see and uh, we cut this uh, steel or aluminium by, by a laser. Let's talk about the two different parts of, of an ice axe. The head that was and is still in uh, is steel or aluminium. We, we say aluminium uh, simply but uh, what we are using is the very strong and light uh, alloy. It means that uh, we are using the same aluminium that is used for the aircraft. So you see that uh, the machine is uh, exactly following uh, the, the shape of the blade. Mm -hmm. So we prepared a program that is uh, defined according to the thickness of the material, to the kind of the material, to the hardness of the material. And through the laser, we cut out uh, uh, the same blade. Uh, so you see, for example, these kind of holes, yeah. which are made to make the blade lighter. And you can get these thanks to this technology. Right, but what happens with the material that's poked out of here? So this is like the leftover, and it goes into the recycling so, uh, process. And we have one part of the ice axe, but we're missing the second part. Where is that at? Yes, exactly. So we are now going to see in the next workshop how we produce the shafts and how we connect them together with the head. Okay, let's go do let's that. Let's go. The evolution of ice axes is integral to the evolution of camp. from the very beginning wooden shaft to the very first metal shaft ice axe, up to the super light aluminium shaft and head for uh, ski mountaineers. The uh, axe dream, well known and appreciated by the ice climber worldwide. And finally, the evolution of material and technology brought us to present uh, the new Corsa uh, range, composed by the lightest, Ice axe in the world for ski mountaineers, to the Corsa for general mountaineers, a Corsa Nanotech composed by aluminium alloy for more technical routes. The process of production may have changed over time, but our dedication to quality has not. So, as you can see, ice axes have come a long way in the last 133 years. But, as Antonio said, the method of making them at camp has been in the same hands for four generations. And with that in mind, we headed to our next workshop in Premana to see how the ice axe shafts are made. Okay, so we're moving through the town and going to all these different workshops. Where are we at the moment? Basically, we have seen how we can get the peak and the head uh, by the laser cutting. And here is, uh, we can see how we can get the final shaft uh, because then we will have to connect them together. So what are they doing with this shaft? Because it looks different than this one. Yeah, exactly. So basically we start from a tube of aluminum, of a special aluminum called Ergal. And we do some operation on a CNC machine. So for instance, we are going to remove some material here to give uh, the final grip to the ice tool. And also, uh, we make this secondary operation where we basically remove part of the material on the shaft to make the ice tool lighter. CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control, which basically means the machines are programmed by a computer, and this particular one is a water jet milling machine that allows a very high and constant grade of precision.
We are in the assembly part of the workshop yes. and I see our shaft and our ice peak, but they look very different from what we just saw. It's like magic, they change color. Yes, basically before the final assembling, uh, both uh, the shaft and the head goes out for the surface finishing and then we are ready for the final assembling. The stages that we've jumped here are anodizing and branding of the ice axes. The latter of which takes place by laser and it looks amazing. That is a graphic imported onto a computer, then sent to a laser and then beamed onto the shaft. Very high tech, very cool and yes, that's the Epic TV logo. We'll come back to that one later. Right, back to assembly. And what's the final assembly like? Where does it start? So there are a few operations. The first one, we take these two pieces, we connect them together. The second operation, we drill both the head and the shaft. And the third operation, we insert a steel pin between the two pieces. And at the end, we are ready for the riveting. Riveting is the process through which we are going to fix uh, the pin in a permanent way so that the head and the shaft are connected. Forever. Exactly. So the ice axe has been assembled, tag on, it's basically done, right? Yes, we are ready for the final testing before the mass production and going into the market. And the final test is up in the headquarters, right? Yeah, let's go. Thinking back about our history, we recently started a path that brought us to our rebranding. The connection to Premano of our new logo is given by our new pictogram that is on the background of our village and represents uh, the mountain, represents the verticality. We introduced in the logotype the punctuation because CAMP is an acronym, Costruzione Articoli Montagna Premana. Hopefully that's cleared up why CAMP is not just a camping company. For those fans of the wolf, we're sorry, if you know, you know. So, after the tour around Premana, we're back where we started, in the testing facility. This is where CAMP tests all prototypes and final products. Sometimes this can look pretty spectacular, like this dog bone, and other times it can look like an ice axe dance. So now we are going to test uh, the final axe. So the shaft and the head together. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have seen how we put together, how we assembly them. And now we are ready for the final testing. So we are going to see the strength of the ice axe according to the standards. All right, let's see it. So this final test puts the ice axe under 0.6 kilonewtons of pressure for one minute. And after all the prototyping and testing that the ice axe has gone through, this will determine whether this ice axe is finally ready for market. All right, so test done. But now what are we looking for on the ice axe? So we have to inspect the ice axe after the testing and check that there are no breaking or losing parts. Mm -hmm. And as we can see, everything is fine. Test passed. So test done and it can go into production now. Absolutely, we can go into mass production and uh, actually we can go on the market and we can go climbing. But before we go climbing, camp has one other very important part of the process, which we haven't shown you yet. The manufacturing of all the tools. As we said before, everything is produced in the valley. So the manufacturing plant, which is just below their office, is a really important part of the production in Premana. So Teresa, this is the manufacturing department. This is like what I expected from the factory tour, like all the bits and pieces lying around, the machinery, the smell is different in here. So here we have our raw materials that we will transform into the future crampons and ice tools. We have uh, CNC machineries that we use for the different production of components, again for ice axes, for uh, crampons. So basically we have seen that uh, by the laser cutting we can get like flat pieces. We have seen uh, the blades, we have seen uh, uh, crampons. And uh, then the pieces come here and uh, depending from product to product we have dedicated molds and uh, we are going to put them uh, under a press to get uh, the final shape of the product. Here we can see in uh, an example because uh, 
Basically, this is the add of the ice tool, so we produce it flat, mm -hmm. and then uh, the piece goes into the press machine where there is a mold, and uh, a certain, under a certain force, the piece is bent. In the production process, this piece will be sent to the external workshop for final assembly. They will then have their final tests, and then they are ready to be boxed and delivered to the distributors. Marco, thank you so much for inviting us and showing us around today. It was so cool to see how an ice axe is not just a piece of kit. There's so much passion and history involved in it. And uh, it was super interesting to see the factory and how everything comes together. So thank you again. No, thank you guys for coming and spending this wonderful day together. And actually, I have a surprise for you guys. No way! <laughs> oh, with the Epic TV logo! Speaking about Epic TV, we have so much camp gear on the shop, so check out the links down below. And that's it for us. Let's go climbing. Yeah. Yeah.